New studio. Hello there guys, it's Fopoy Up broadcasting from his brand new Freedom Bunker. Today, while the other stuff is on production, I wanted to drift slightly away from the ordinary tech videos that I make to talk about a topic of interest of this month. No not November. For those of you that may not have yet the knowledge of what it is, so to keep it short, No Not November is a challenge originating from the internet where participants would practice um, sexual abstinence as well as refrain from exposing themselves to any sort of pornographic content. So this was surely created over something and it was over the alleged benefits that the participants would reap from the completion of the challenge such as um, increased level of focus, charisma, and overall motivation. Kind of like uh, when you take a perk in the Fallout 3 when you level up, but that's off topic. Now comes the time where you actually start to wonder what can possibly back up the fact that an internet challenge, a meme of sorts, can ha bring any benefits, especially those I just mentioned. But it is all very simple. Um, you, you see, we live in a world where access to pornographic content became easier than finding uh, clear water. Think about it for a second. And while most people think it is all without consequence, exposure to such content brings a few problems to the table. Which I shall explain in this video, of course. <clears throat> so first of all, Watching porn elevates our dopamine levels uh, almost as high as cocaine would do. Uh, dopamine, uh, if you don't wonder what it is, is at the same time a hormone and a neurotransmitter uh, responsible for the most part of our motivation, our energy levels, kind of our stamina. And to be honest, it is the hormone of the of our well-being. So it is what also gets you out of bed. What gives you those feelings of accomplishment when you complete a task? You get it, it does a lot, and to talk about it in a deeper manner, I would have to stretch this video to a format much bigger than my channel, so for the precious time's sake, I shall keep it short. So when your levels of dopamine gets raised up in such a drastic manner, it somehow feels exhilarating. Uh, as short as it may be, it's a little burst of pleasure, but it is like giving too much juice to your lamp. It'll shine brighter and brighter, but it'll eventually fry out. And the thing is, your brain will do just the same. Getting used to such levels, it will decrease your sensitivity to the molecule, leaving you numb to anything surrounding you and making you more fragile to anything that could happen to you. But it gets further. You see, not only dopamine gets involved in the process, as a matter of fact, the whole body is concerned that it rewires the brain in a very deep fashion depending on the degree of dependence one may have. One example speaks of itself more than the others, the Coolidge effect. Originally, an experience conducted with rats, where a male rat would be confronted to more and more partners till it wouldn't, couldn't longer feel the need, the need to move, uh, when applied to the human brain, it means that a prolonged exposure to diverse pornographic content will spike up your hormonal level to uh, such an extent that will lead you to the destruction of the receptors of the aforementioned hormones. Literally brain shrinkage. This is your brain on drugs. Like a hill being eroded. The part that is getting the more affected is the prefrontal cortex, the part that's just behind the forehead. It is rep responsible for stuff like rational decision-making, willpower, attention, memory, and even self-preservation instincts. You get it, having this tinkered with in any way isn't any good. This is only a fraction of the problem that I'm talking about here, because at some extent this leads to social issues. For instance, a decrease uh, in sensitivity to oxytocin leads to an inability to socially bond with others as well as properly feel love or being loved. Sexual hormones where are like testosterone for males also comes into play and uh, yeah, ups and downs in this, you can pretty much imagine the effect on the mood. I'll keep it all very simple and short for the sake of your time, however, if this video comes to get enough attention, I'll make a follow-up 
to it to delve into what I've covered in a much deeper manner. So if you want to see it have a sequel, start sharing around to spread the word and leave a comment if you have any ideas you'd like to submit or exchange. And if you found any value in your watch time, well, you can hit that like button. November just came by, meaning that we've just finished to celebrate the dead in most Western countries, and that a new year starts to come by. Now let's thus reproduce the mistakes that could have been made in the past, and let's try to move on to a better and brighter future, eh? Tonight I say, we must move forward, not backward. Upward, not forward! And always, always twirling, twirling towards freedom. Trust me. You don't want to become this guy. I must sniff. I'm coming. 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 Oh, coming. Oh, fuck, it's everywhere. Oh, fuck. Anyway. With all this said, I wanted to take a few seconds to say that I now have a Discord server and also that um, I'm currently migrating the channel to lbry. Uh, what was it? Was it .com? Anyway, all the links will be in the description box below. Uh, I'm migrating to a new platform because YouTube is becoming a talent stable recently so you'll be able to find me there once i'll be done with everything anyway i hope you enjoyed your time so till next time stay safe take care of yourself and of course see ya damn i actually missed making videos